Hey, this is Nina, social media strategist, technical trainer, and owner of Nina Simone Consulting. This group comes from, um, excuse me, this question comes from our business masterminds group member, Trey, who um, created an image but wanted to know how she adds um, overlay shapes to it without covering the text. This is a quickie, so um, here we go. Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial um, for one of our business masterminds group members, Trey. Let me just see. She wanted to add shapes, but it was covering the words. So I'm going to give a couple of ways to do this. So in this instance, now I, I edited her image, so it might behave a little bit differently if you have different layers. Just keep that in mind. So I'm going to use her colors, right, on the outside and on the inside. Okay, so I might have this and I could resize it, of course, if you want it a little bit smaller. Okay, or a couple of things you can do is you could fade it. Where you can still see the words, right? When it's there, that looks kind of cute. Um, or I'm going to actually do the fade back. Okay, so that looks fine, right? But I had add to it. So no, when it's normal, it's on top. But if I click on add, it combines the text and the image. And there's different ones. You could darken it where just the areas with the image have that color difference. Okay, there's different ways that you can do this. But usually just using the features, the fade and blend modes, you can figure out what you want to do with this. Okay, so I can do screen and fade. And that's another part of doing it. And it also takes away some of that open space that's in, in the image. So I don't know about the heart this way. I was just doing something really, really quick. But um, you could kind of see what the endless possibilities are when you combine images. So you can do that all over here. Okay. There you go. Hey, so did you like that video? If so, please like and subscribe. If anything didn't make sense or you have a question still, go ahead and leave your comments below and I will try to answer them the best I can. Again, like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.